So I was gonna film episode two of Beer and Gear here at this campground, but my friends here have a full generator going. I have a whole town set up over there. So that's kind of annoying. I mean, maybe here on the other side of the truck might work better. I don't know if you can still hear it. They also have a bunch of kids running around and they're even louder than the generator, which I'm in support of taking your kids to the woods, but. Further down the road we go. That's not good. There we go. Sorry, truck. Other than uh, a nice little chain link fence here. What's up everybody? Welcome to the second ever episode of Beer and Gear. And for those that don't know, this is the show where I try to review a beer and try to review a piece of camping gear. Because I'm not very good at it yet, but I do my best. So. Day. In celebration of it actually being kind of fall-ish, it's chilly, we're at the top of a ridge here and the wind's coming up, so in celebration, we are doing a stout. This is a pastry stout from Sandbox Brewing, I think they're in Montclair, yeah, Montclair, California, called Even Caramel Sundays. So we'll see how this goes. It is a 10.5% beer with vanilla bean, cocoa nibs, toffee, and milk sugars. Co cocoa nibs? Co cocao? I, I don't know how to say that. See? Try to review beer. But we're going to do the thing. And today, we actually have a beer glass. That's new. Uh, this is from a company called Fermented Bee Cups. They're plastic beer glasses. I think... I may have messed up. This is an IPA glass, but whatever. Um, you'll still see the color and everything else. So, let's get right into it. See if I can actually pour this right. So I already smell a whole bunch of chocolate so not not too much head definitely just a, a light brown to tan head um, let's see no nope, no nope. don't go anywhere lot of chocolate even though the wind is blowing the aroma that way definitely some vanilla not not too much caramel I don't think maybe I don't know oh there's the caramel there it is. Yeah, it doesn't come through much on the aroma, but that is, that is, wow, wow. That is big. <laughs> That's really, really, really big and creamy. It's smooth. It's really smooth and very sweet. 
it is a pastry stout. So that, uh, it's kind of in the name. So I can't fault him for that. Nor would I want to. Oh yeah. Oh, that's good. That's actually really, really good. Um, definitely a lot of caramel. Some vanilla. Um, hang on. A slight bitterness on the end, which I like a lot. Um, oh, this really does taste like just melted down caramel and chocolate put into a beer. It's very, very good. I'd give it, I don't know. Should I do a scoring system? I don't feel like I'm good enough to do that yet. But I will. I'll give it a, give it a seven and a half. That sounds good. There's nothing else on the scale to uh, compare it to, but we'll start there. Seven and a half. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That tastes like ice cream. So, onward to the second portion. I'm here to review the Covea camping chair. So, this is it fold it up and in its little sleeve this is the single most expensive chair well I've ever bought and <laughs> I think in existence I think it retails for 120 to 130 dollars um, you could get it at gtfoverland.com or again go down to Kurt's shop in Long Beach and pick it up in person and it's a nice olive drab color. Covea written on it. And let's see. Let's open her up. Just a typical camping chair in this regard. So right out of the gate. I've had this chair for a while now, probably like four or five months or so. I've used it pretty, pretty extensively. And I, I really do love it. So here it is out of its thing. And I'm going to move you over here because I was an idiot and sat at a uh, campground table to review a chair. folds out all nice so you could get a better view of some of the joints if you will it is quite frankly the most well-built camping chair I've ever seen in my life I mean it's freaking sturdy it's kind of unique how it all folds up and everything too which I think is cool It also has a map book pocket thing or whatever you want to put in there, which I think is super neat. So let's go over this a little bit. Pros, super well built, unbelievably comfortable. It leans you back quite a bit, and I like that. You could damn near fall asleep in this thing downfalls um, when it's in its little bag and all folded up if you were to measure it out it would actually be longer than an entire Suzuki Samurai it's huge it's really really huge it does not pack small at all um, it's not very heavy it's just so unbelievably long also arguably more important than that it has no cup holders. I did not know that when I bought it, <laughs> but it kind of is what it is. Your beer ends up in the dirt, but it's the comfiest thing I've ever sat in. I swear to God, this thing is comfier than my couch at home. So take that as you will. Um, 
So to recap, pastry stout from Sandbox Brewing, Caramel Sunday, Delicious, tastes like a bowl of uh, ice cream covered in caramel and chocolate. It's 10.5%, so this should be interesting. Covea camping chair, great chair, really well built. It is huge. It is, it is gigantic when it's folded up. So take that as you will. If you drive a Suzuki Samurai, this is not the chair for you because it will be sticking through the windshield. And if you have a six foot bed, I guess you'll be fine. So thanks for tuning in to episode two of Beer and Gear from the mountains of SoCal. Beautiful, beautiful spot. And we'll catch you next time.